Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys and girls, today we're going to do something um, that is quite fun and the children of grade 4 has been asking about it for a while. Actually it was one of the students in grade 4, Hope, Aidan, Aidan said, Aidan Julian, he said, Miss, can we do a kite? I said, okay, that's a good idea. So, um, boys and girls, we're going to do a kite today in honour of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So we're going to make a kite in a heart shape. And I'm going to go ahead for the boys. You can do the Sacred Heart and the girls can do the Immaculate Heart. So let's get started. So what do you need? Okay, so we need some, they call this cocoye broom um, sticks. I got, I, I got this actually from the coconut leaves and I trimmed it off, but that's what they use to make the brooms, cocoye brooms. So um, I've uh, put them together and I'm going to use some thread to make it a little bit tougher because my husband who is uh, born in Dominica and he grew up uh, he used to make a lot of kites so he's given me some um, tips as to what to do so let's get started boys and girls and so I wrapped this one like that and um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the other one so there it is, boys and girls. I did it. I actually needed more cocoye sticks than I told you all. So um, I, you need to have a very long one. It's about 70, 70, that's 50, 50 and 30, that's 80 around 80, 80 to 85, um, 85 centimeters. So you need two of them and then you need one for the middle and the middle one um, is about 50 about 55 to 60 so it, it doesn't have to be the exact size I'm just giving you a guideline so two about 80 85 and one about 55 60 and then a short a very short one about 30. so this is the um, in coming width. close to the end in, in so length, I trim so. off all okay. the excess and I wrap and them all with um, the thread uh, at the end, um, just not the longest the ends, one, the no? shorter one. So towards and the then top you're going to of join the, the, the medium size stick. Remember, that's the shortest stick. All three the ends medium, together. You have two of the same kind of like So I'm going to the middle one is the in, one that goes in that the in. center of the heart. You know, like in. a butterfly. So that would be the center so of like um, the heart. In the and then we're going to, um, you don't I'm want going it to, to be a lot get sizes. some thread um, and I'm going to twist tight. them both so together. It has to be equal. So I've got some nylon yeah, thread. Equal so that when you pull some it Some people up, use tape, not I'm going to use one thread. Side, okay. Um, so that's you could what use I'm trying to do right now. now. Can you see it? So it's entirely Boys and girls, up to you. I'm trying to have it so that it's. I'm going to wrap it around like this. All right. Right, and then when you've got it to the way you want it, but we have to make sure that this is gonna just securely to done, so that it's more otherwise it can snap. Here, like that. And then I'm going to tie so a knot. Just gonna go ahead. Okay. So just take that. And tie it wind this around. It all. Even. And I'll see you in a minute. So I'm going to get some masking tape bring and I'm going to just ensure that this is securely okay, good. Um, so that all of them, when you pull them, they will all securely be fast, um, 
stuck so together, to put some, together. Let me just try to get so I'm gonna go just turn go around like that so yeah, that at do least this we know again. that this is secure. Okay, so I'm so this is nicely done. And so what we're going to do now, remember this is the top of the kite. So this is where you take this like that and uh, um, you, 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 uh, you, you, uh, you tie it to the end like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I wish it would become a bit bigger. Maybe if I had more length, it would be more fatter. Ah, I like it like that. We don't want it to be too thin, but we don't want it to be too fat in any case. I think that's quite a nice size for the kite. Oh, boys and girls, I'm so sorry. But anyway, it has to look like a heart. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, tie it to the middle part like that so here's the top part can you just about see it like that and then it goes down 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 to the so there it is boys and girls it's all secured all right I've got it covered and the next thing we're going to do with this, the short piece of um, cocoyer, we're going to add this to the top of the heart like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this down like that. What I mean by sticking it down before you think it's glue, I'm going to tie it down. So I'm going to get some of that nylon thread again and I'm going to... Um, tie it here and tie it over here so i got some nylon thread in i cut a piece out and then i'm just gonna take i'm just gonna leave a length like that so that i can tie the end and i'm just gonna wrap it around wrap it around like that just gonna continually wrap it around until it is well wrapped okay so it's a little bit fiddly but once you've got it, you just go around, around, around. That means it will keep it sturdy for you. It will not, it will not come out from the way you've tied it. And I'm going, just for security, I'm going to add some tape to both ends. So I need to add a little bit of masking tape to uh, both ends. Uh, sides of the heart that I have just um, tied. So I'm just going to go over it and go back, and that should be it. Okay, let's do the other end. So I'm going to stick down my crepe paper. If you have crepe paper, great, or if you have red paper, wonderful. Um, if you just have white, you can just go ahead and um, paint paint it when, when you've cut it out, all right? I'm just going to go like this to make sure that I'm not wasting any of the paper and I'm going to cut around it and uh, yeah so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut the shape of the heart all right so I'm going to go ahead and do that so what you want to do you want to you don't want to cut directly on the the line or the, the where the the shape is so I would give it about a, a, a couple of centimeters away or an inch 
so I'm going to cut I'm going to cut now just make sure that it's nice and flat alright so I'm going to just put that down pull it up a little bit and then I'm just going to cut it now so I'm just going to cut around the shape like this I'm in an awkward position at the moment, so let me just um, try to cut this in half. So as you can see, it was a little awkward for me, so you'll see it's a little zigzaggy, but that's all right. I will trim that off nicely. Um, so I'm going to do this side now. Oops, I don't want to pull it. Brr. Don't pull. Try to keep it in the same place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this side now. Take it easy. I'm not going to rush this because we want to make, do a good job. Don't want to go too much over. <laughs> do that for now then I'm gonna go this side the other side because I don't want to go over add that blue down there we can do that side now huh? don't want to do too much over the edge do that stick that down like that I'll add some like this area here just add some glue to stick it down like that I'm going to turn it around so that we can do the other side all right just add this. I want it to be perfectly in the center Continue with this. I will, I will add more glue to it once I've, I've, every way is first organized and stuck down. And I can't stick it well until everywhere has um i've put some glue on it so this looks like it's getting there i'll, do, I'll just add some more glue it's all right So when we get to this part, I'll show you what I will do. I will get the, oops, I will just get some glue here, stick it up to where I can. Like that. Just get some glue to go here. Perfect. And then. 
going to cut a little snippet here. So that I can just go under this and just tick that down like that. Let's just bring this heart down as close as we can down here. So we're going to add some. Can you see it? So we're just going to. So we're just going to stick this down like that. This will go above. Let's get some glue and stick it there because we want it to look as, as a heart shape as possible, close to a heart as possible. So that's what we're doing that for. Let's just bring this down a little bit. And we're going to do this side, and then we're going to turn it over, and hopefully it will be great. I cut a little piece down so that I can stick this side down properly. Okay, maybe I need something heavy to put on it because it's going up, but that's okay. It will stick. It will stick, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to go over areas and make sure that it sticks down well so you don't have to worry about that okay i'm going to stick this down this area like that oops like that i'm going to really stick this down Very well. So if we turn it around, it should be a lovely heart. And I think we've been successful in our sticking. Just need to maybe pull this a little bit and make it flat. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the outcome. So it's all stuck down now, boys and girls, and I added strips of paper to cover to stick the cocoa stick to the um, crepe paper, all right? So that's what I've been doing, just trying to stick it down and secure the, 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 the folds with some glue. And then I'm just gonna go ahead now to, um, I'm gonna stick this down using um, some tape, some masking tape there, right? I think that's quite secure and I want to right now add the, the flame so what I did I cut a rectangle piece and slitted it in the middle so that I can just sort of like push it in like that keep it outside that way because the flame is going to be that way and I'm just gonna stick this flat like that. But then for it to look like a flame, I'm going to gather this, the top part together. So I'm gonna add some glue along the top like this. 
and then the top part is going to be gathered and then the good thing about crepe this type of paper it sticks very easily so I'm just going to stick this down like that and I'm going to gather it like it's tapering like a tapering flame so I'm just going to have it like that and then I'm going to fold in these flames and stick it down. Fold in this flame and then I'm going to stick it down like that. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to add some more glue to that so that it sticks together like that. Um, let's just add that glue on there so that it sticks well. Right. And then we're going to stick this one down onto the, the heart of Mother Mary. I'm going to go ahead and stick it down right. And I'm going to turn it over to make sure that it looks okay on that the other side as well. It looks good on that side and it looks absolutely perfect on that side. Um, we're going to add another flame and another flame. I'm just gluing it so that it sticks on to the, both to the cookie stick and to um, the, the heart shape. So, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I like it. Looks really good. On the flame. Yeah, I just need to work on that flame a little bit here. We can just open it out, can't we? Let me just add some glue here so that they will be connected somehow so when I open it out it will be connected a little bit to that okay good and then we'll do the same for that side open out a little bit so that there will be some connection with this flame here and that flame and then add the next one I think that's better. So I think I'm just gonna put some white flowers along here. So let me show you quickly how I d I'm gonna do my heart, my flowers. I'm gonna fold this in three, into fours, like that. And I'm gonna cut them out so that I have eight flowers I, I will have eight flowers so there they are and what I'm going to do I'm going to cut um, fold it to make a triangle like that then I'm going to fold it in half in the center but I'm going to open it out then I'm going to bring this end up to make like this shape like almost like a a V like that and I'm going to turn it around and do that to this the same thing but to the other side so it makes a lovely W W or if you turn it this way M for Mother Mary and uh, what you're going to do when you've done that you're going to bring this end to this grade five is familiar with this origami we did that a couple of weeks ago and we're going to bring that end here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to um, let me get um, something to gather the rubbish so I'm going to cut a straight line going up and then I'm going to have it curve like that and then I'm going to have um, a circle.
circle going around like this and I'm going to have cut the center and it, we should have a flower hopefully okay so that's one so we're going to do um, the rest of the flowers so here are the flowers I did four more to go on the other side so we're going to stick it down like this Turn it over and just stick it down like that. So we'll have it here. Do the same thing here. I'll go here like that. Can't move it anymore. It's well stuck. <laughs> So we're going to turn this around and do the same thing on the other side. So there's our Immaculate Heart. So there it is boys and girls. I added a sword. I just made a, a, something that looked like a T-shape. I added my um, flowers as we said and I added the other side of the sword is piercing through her heart. And then I made droplets of blood coming down and I stuck it on the last piece of the stick that was on the, for the kite. And right now we're going to add the rope um, to fly the kite. So you're going to be using the, this side of the kite, not the wrong side of the kite, not the side that we attached it to. So we're going to use the, this side of the kite and we're going to um, add holes right in the the area where the two are joined so i'm going to just push put a hole in there and thread it through i'm going to use um this thread and um, i'll double it so you're going to just uh, thread it through we're going to have the length maybe about 50, uh, 15 inches or uh, um, long, just over a foot. That should be, let's bring it down a little bit. That should be fine. Okay, so we'll have it about that length, 15. So I'm just going to snip that, snip it right there. And then I'm going to tie it here. We're going to tie it here, like that, and we're going to have, I can either, let me just tie it this way, so we just tie it this way, hope you can see me tying it, don't know if there's any fancy way of tying the knot, but I'm just going to go ahead and tie it like that. And, and then that's good enough. And then I have this. I'm going to do thread the needle again to 15 inches. Um, Maybe you'll need a parent to help you to do that part, or if you're quite capable of using a needle and thread, you can just, if you can't do that, you can just poke a hole and, and just thread it that way through. So we're going to do it to 15. Bring that up a little bit, like that. Okay. It's about 15 so just cut that up here and we do the same thing on that side and then we're going to tie um, a thread to the center and join them in the middle and so that's where your um, rope well your the rope that's gonna that you're gonna allow the kite to fly on that's where we're going to uh, uh, tie it to so I measured 
um, the thread again and this time I'm going to tie it about this to this end here so I'm going to stick the needle through or you could bore a hole and then you um, I can turn it around for you to see and then can you see boys and girls you just uh, stick another bore another hole the other end and you pull it out to the other end like that all right so we turn it around and then <coughs> we I hope you can see um, take this and tie it tie it several knots and then you have three ends and then you're going to join all the three all three ends together to make this kind of like a triangular so I hold that in hold that end and hold this end like that so that it's like in the center so it's triangular you don't want it to be a lopsided um, kite so it has to be equal you have it on equal so that when you pull it up it's not going to one side okay there I did it so I tied it so that it's nice and equal so that when you pull it's ready to go on its flight. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Boys and girls, it's a little late, um, but I really need to stick this on to the handle of the sword because it looks a little, it, it doesn't look like a sword. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down. And then we're going to turn it around to make sure that it's going the same way. So I'm going to stick it this way around. Add the glue. Just add some glue to it and then I'm going to stick it down and if I have to erase anything that would be okay. I can do that, it's not a problem. So that's one side, let's turn it around and let's do the other side. Perfectly. I just wanted to share with you this last time um, the center flames. I added a deeper orange and some little sparkly gems to our Blessed Mother's flowers to create a, a glittery, um, pretty, um, beautiful effect. And blue is our Blessed Mother Mary's um, color. So yeah, I just can't wait for us to fly our kite in honor of our Blessed Mother. Hello my lovelies, here we have the Immaculate Heart of Mary and I'm going to test run it to see how well it flies. <laughs> 